Hey YouTube, it's me Sandra. I want to go ahead and let you guys know that the over at Rite Aid, they have these trimmers, okay? These groomers, um, they are by wall and these are on sale for $9.99. You could use the $5 in-ad coupon, okay, which will bring your total down without any discounts. We'll bring it down to $4.99 each, okay, which is a really good price. Um, so this is how I did my transaction, okay? So I ended up buying four of these because these are, are, when you buy $30 worth in products, um, you get a $10 up reward, okay? So I went ahead and purchased four of these and nine of these, okay? So the Nivea for Men Sensitive Shaving Foam or Shaving Gel. Now the foam... Those ones I had let you guys know ahead. Um, those are the 8.7 ounce. Those are $249 regular price. Okay. Those are ringing up with a 20% discount, $199. Okay. Then you have the men's shaving gel. Those ones are regular price, $369. Okay. With a 20% discount, those are $295. Okay, and for every single one of those that you use, you use a $3 in-ad coupon. Now, mileage will vary depending on your store. If you could use more than one in-ad coupon, the coupon does state one per customer. Now, um, many of my stores that I do shop at, because I, I shop there a lot, the managers know me, and I always ask them specifically, is it okay if I use more than one coupon? They said, yes, that's fine as long as I don't clear the shelf which there was plenty of these on the shelf. So I do not clear the shelves. Now, so I purchased nine of these. I gave them nine $3 off in ad coupons, which is for the men's Nivea skin care or body wash product. And then I used the $5 in ad coupons for these. And I also purchased some Con Air bobby pins, which there's a $1 off in ad coupon. Um, so let me go ahead and show you my receipt. So with my discount, the they came out to $7.99. And there's the sensitive gel, $2.95. Bobby pins, $207. $199. $279. Sorry about that. Okay. Now, here's all my $3 in ad coupons. There's my $5 in ad coupons. Okay, then I gave her a total of $12 in upper rewards. Now, one of my $5 upper rewards did not take off. Okay, so now I originally, I gave her the two fives, so those fives should have come off. So it would have been in $10. So my subtotal would have been, um, without giving her those two $1 upper rewards, would have been $0.61. Cents out of pocket um, before tax. So as you see, my tax was 504. So I went ahead and paid with a gift card, $7 and 65 cents. And so I only used $7 in upper wards. So, and I ended up getting back a $10 upper ward. So this was a $3 money maker for me after all my upper words that I ended up using. So I ended up using Overage from these to help pay for these. And I ended up getting back $3 and more in upper words. So go ahead and check out this deal. As you could see, I have $1.96 still tracking towards my next $10 upper ward, which I am definitely going to go ahead and get this done again. These are awesome gifts for Christmas as stocking stuffers or gifts for co-workers, family members, brothers, um, and so forth, or husband. So have a nice day. Bye.